crumbling in, uh, kill heaps of wood shells. They don't get their strike back, but uh, they uh, they hold. They're not uh, they're not outnumbered by fear in this case, but they lose their frenzy. So, getting rid of the wood shells frenzy is a really big deal because uh, it, it really changes how that unit works from now on. And uh, he lost the combat too, so he can't even reform. So that's a whole unit stuck in place there. Looking very good for me for the moment. Next photo, uh, the yeah, the, the Dark Riders are further forward here, and the Tomb Guard are advancing just to meet any kind of threat that might uh, come their way, but still staying out of range of the Hydra at the same time. So we'll see how that goes. And then the far back on the Scorpion has uh, really just stayed out of it. Uh, so looking pretty good there. The uh, Hydra's moved forward, I believe, uh, without really achieving anything. And the next photo, uh, yes, the, the chariots are just raging away in a combat there. Uh, you notice the harpies have been uh, been shot uh, by archers and have panicked all the way back behind the blackguard. And uh, the, the shades are still in the, in the, uh, the building, of course. No casket of souls action just yet, but uh, hoping for a bit more uh, love later on with the, the casket. Now, you might notice also that he's moved his Cauldron of Blood in between the Spearmen and the Chariot combat. So the Spearmen aren't going to be charging the, uh, the Chariots anytime soon. Not that they want to, given the second unit of Chariots nearby. But uh, this gives me a plan, which I'll talk about shortly. In the meantime, uh, the, the Witch Elves are not doing very good against the Chariots because there's only two of them fighting. They've lost their Frenzy now. So it's, what, four attacks? Uh, so two base, or hand weapons, three attacks each. And uh, Chariots are Toughness 4, Witch Elves are only Strength 3. I'm getting my saves. So the Chariots are holding their ground there against the Witch Elves and even winning the combat. So, uh, and not outnumbering them. So things, you know, life, life continues. Next photo. What have we got here? Uh, the witch, this is uh, the following turn, though. The following combat, the Witch Elves do manage to, to, to beat the Chariots. Break, uh, break one of them down. So only unit Strength 6 with the remaining Chariots. The uh, reform takes place, and the, the BSB and all of the Witch Elves are uh, fully lined up, so I'm not expecting my Chariots to survive the next round. But they've done their job. They've, they've killed tons of Witch Elves, and they've locked that unit in place, so that's a lot off my chest. If that Witch Elf you know, had made it to my lines, I would be in a bit of trouble. In the meantime, the Black Guard are surging forward, but uh, they're losing more guys to shooting, so I'm not too worried about them. Next photo. Ooh, here's my plan, though. The Prince leaves the secondary unit of chariots and charges the Cauldron of Blood on its own. Now, what I thought would happen there is that impact hits would just be randomized between the crew and the, uh, what should we call it, the, uh, the Death Hag. But uh, what really happens is it's resolved as shooting hits. So you roll uh, to, to randomize and on a 1 to 4 it hits the Cauldron of Blood itself and is ignored. So had I known that I might not have charged, but what actually happened is that I luckily managed to get enough impact hits to kill a single witch elf, and the prince uh, lashed out with his flail on the death hag and wounded her once. I think she struck back, and this wasn't a challenge, by the way. She struck back and, and did a wound as well, but because the prince is unit strength 4 in his chariot, and there were only two witch elves left, that's unit strength 2. I outnumber with fear anyway, broke them, ran them down, and wiped out his general. So no more cauldron or blood, no more general for the, for the dark elves, and uh, there's no way that he can recounter charge me because I, I pursued too far. The next uh, picture shows you the right-hand side flank where uh, I've charged his Dark Riders with two separate Scorpions. The reason I've done that is so that they can't possibly flee from me with the two Scorpions on either side charging through. And uh, the Scorpions massacre the, the Dark Riders uh, predictably. In the meantime, the Carrion have flown all the way over here to march block the Hydra yet again. So uh, everything's going wrong for our friend the Dark Elf player. And uh, things looking very good for me in the meantime. Next photo, you can sort of, oh, yeah, we're still, uh, yeah, this uh, this photo was taken before uh, the prince had beaten the, the Cauldron of Blood uh, in, in combat, but uh, let me uh, note what else has happened here. The shades in the building have been reduced to just a single guy, I believe, just from uh, archers peppering them and so forth, and uh, yeah, things looking pretty good. You can see my swarm in the far background. The only reason I deployed the swarm over, the, over in, in that forest in the far right is just to prevent the shades from deploying behind the forest. Uh, to the left of my chariots, and uh, the swarm is just doing nothing this game, but I didn't really need it to do anything. He didn't have a war machine for me to tunnel under, um, so we're fine. The uh, archers in the hill have been shooting, are getting a couple of rounds of shots off. They did wound some of my prince's chariots earlier on. That's why there's only two left rather than three in the background there, but didn't really need them in the long run. Next photo, uh, you might have, you might notice the uh, the scorpions have destroyed the, uh, the the dark riders and the the cold one chariot is gone. And uh, let me tell you how, tell you how the cold one chariot was taken out. Casket of Souls went off, rolled an eleven. 
So 11 plus 2 is 13, minus the leadership of, what, 8 or 9, and uh, yeah, it's gone. So, uh, souls, souls, taking out the cold ones, the souls of the cold ones, souls of the uh, the Dark Elf uh, charioteers, and uh, that was one threat eliminated as well. And here's the Hydra uh, sitting around, uh, occasionally turning around and doing some breath, breath weapon shooting, but uh, generally has been very ineffe ineffective this game. Uh, and the next photo shows you where the uh, prince actually ended up. You can see the prince in between the witch elves and the spearmen. The prince overran uh, after wiping out his general, so the, the spearmen can't countercharge the prince, and neither can the witch elves, because the witch elves have just finished polishing off my chariots in the, in the center of the field there. And now it's just a matter of me peppering everybody else. He's down to like four. Uh, so he's got three blackguard plus a, a sorcerer in that blackguard unit. So that's actually a sorcerer model, that one of those white models there. And uh, it's still got a couple of shades left in the building, and the harpies, I believe, have rallied, but aren't really doing too much else, and uh, that is it for that uh, situation there. Next photo, uh, what we see here is uh, just the harpies moving back into the field, uh, blocking any kind of charge through to the witch elves, but, well, not that they're going to do a great job against the chariots coming in from the background. The, uh, the spearmen have reformed so that they're facing towards my lines, uh, potentially charging the, ch the prince if the prince was foolish enough to just stick there, but he's not going to. So we see the next photo. Oh, there is no next photo. Okay, well, uh, let's wrap it up. You know, um, I, my camera ran out of batteries. Um, it turned out to be a massacre for the, the Tomb Kings, uh, crushing victory over the Witch Elves. What actually happened later on is that I wiped out all of the Black Guard and the Sorcerer with shooting. The Chariot charged the Harpies, which fled, and I pursued into the Witch Elves, which got wiped out. And uh, he had a Hydra and a unit of... Um, he had a Hydra, unit of Spearmen, and... Um, uh, unit of repeated crossbowmen left, and then eventually I got a charge, a combo charge with all the chariots and all the prints in the final turn on the spearmen and uh, massacred them. So, pretty convincing game. I think uh, Phil made a couple of mistakes with his Hydra and his deployment, uh, but it'll be cool to see the rematch. Um, in fact, next time I go around to Phil's place for a game, I'm actually going to be using his army and he's, he'll be using mine, so it'll be a nice swap, and I think it'll be quite therapeutic for me to try out Dark Elves because I know exactly uh, how I, I, I could... Uh, use them to max potential, well maybe not max potential, but to very good use knowing that all the things that I'm scared of facing as a uh, as an opposing player, I'll, I'll probably get to use all the tricks. So we'll see how that goes in another week. Uh, for now, just thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed the report.